Following on from the previous video, we were trying to understand why this would give us a negative answer. So, uh, so rather than trying to understand this, we would st I, I, I asked you to set up two systems where you have one starting from here, going up to here, and then set up, set up another system where this thing it would start here and then it would go down to here. So I would ask you to come up with the parametric equations to describe to describe um, to describe this this path where you would start here and then you would end up here. Well, the answer would be would be this. The answer would be this. Set x equals t and then y equals this thing here. So 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 to investigate what's happening, we would have two systems, one here and one here. In this case, we would start here. And then, and then travel all the way up to here. And then in the other system, we would start here and then travel all the way down here. So let, now, now let's, let's try and investigate, um, uh, let, let, let's try and work out the area of this thing here. So, so in effect, we are summing up everything in terms of time. We are summing up all the areas here in terms of time. So, so we are summing up everything from time zero. Remember, by the time, by the time it gets, so it would start here, by the time it gets to here, time would be 6. It would be 6 seconds um, uh, before it, it, it would be 6 seconds when, when it gets to here. So our time would be from 0 to 6 in terms of time. And then as, as we're summing up everything, as we're moving along, each step of the way, we're going to need to know the height. Well, the height is given by this. Uh, and then, and then we would need to need, we, we would need to know the thickness. Well, the thickness of this thing here, the thickness, so as we're moving along here, we, we need to know the height, the height is given by this. But then we would need to know the thickness. But as we're working in terms of, in terms of time, to obtain the thickness, we would then look at this. We would look at this. The differential would be, would be, uh, would be, would be dx, Equals well, if you differentiate this, it would be negative one, and then uh, and then dx, uh, d, sorry, dt. So uh, so the differential would be dx equals negative dt. So uh, so as we as we're summing up everything here, we, we're going to need to know the height, or well, the height is given by this, which is this bit here. But then the thickness, the thickness would be would be uh, would be negative dt would be negative dt. Now look at this scenario here. Now look at this scenario here. So, um, so, so, so this scenario here, we, we, uh, we, we are summing up everything. Remember, we are traveling from left to right in, in this scenario here. Because if you think about it, let's, let's just zoom in to one, I'm, I'm going to exaggerate the thickness of that strip. So we've got one strip here. When, so, so, uh, so this is time here. Let, let's say, uh, let's say, let's say the part at, at, at this time here, the particle is right here. Uh, and then the next moment, a small change in dt, the particle would be right here. So, so you can see that, um, that, that, uh, a, as time goes on, the, uh, the, the, uh, the dx here would be, would be positive. But then in this scenario here, I'm going to exaggerate the thickness. So, uh, so the time, Let's say the time is here. Let's say the particle is right here at this time here. A, uh, another, a, another small change in time here. Uh, so this point here would be here. So you can see that as time, well, as time moves on in, in the positive direction, time is moving in the positive direction. But as a result, the, the dx will be in the negative direction. So you can see that this is negative and this here is positive. So, so this, that, that's why this thing here is negative. So, so when you're moving in this direction here, this thing here would be negative, and this thing here would be positive. That's why you're, that's why that, that's why in this scenario here, the area is negative, because, because you're, because of this, because of this here. If, if you, um, if you look at dx here, then, then this here becomes negative dt. Um, and, and then if you look at this scenario here, dx here, so, so when the particle is moving from left to right, the, the, uh, the dt here, the dt, the dt is positive, the dx will be positive. But because, but because it's moving from right to the, to left, in this scenario, uh, the, 
the DX here, as DT moves forward, the DX is actually moving backwards. That's why you've got this, this negative one here. And as a result, this negative one gets carried, carried all the way through. It gets carried all the way through and it will give you a negative, um, area. And then, um, over here is, is positive. So the area will always be positive. So, uh, so if you look at this here, so if, if you're really going from, from right to left, it, it will, um, the, 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 the thickness here would be negative, would be negative. But as you're moving from, uh, in this case, as you're moving from left to right, the, the dx here would be, would be positive. So, um, so it, back to the, back to the original, um, back to the original situation. Um, the reason why it's negative is because, um, is because the, the path is, you, you, you start here and then you're, you're moving along here. So, uh, so the, 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 uh, the thickness here, let's just look at this one particular strip here. The thickness here will be negative, giving you a negative area. So once you've got your area, once you've got your area, I hope you can accept that once you've got to this stage here, you can just say the area is, therefore, the area is 3 pi over 8. So, um, just, just because, um, just because it's moving in, in the, uh, well, it's moving from right to the left. So it, it gives you a negative area. I hope you can see that.